with our heart, heartbeat, we are capable of irrigating our feet, our head, and have a blood flow circulating throughout our entire body. But we need some kind of mm, energy, mechanical energy, to make the blood flowing through the entire organism. Well, obviously, a plant does not have a heart, but it requires some kind of energy to bring the water from the root up to the leaves, which in turn help the plants to be fed with vital nutrients coming from, from the dirt. So where does this energy come from since there is no heart? Well, it comes from the sun. Really, when you look at how the sun is interacting with the plant, you're really looking at the most fundamental functioning of the health of a plant. So we don't monitor the heartbeat, but we monitor the vine water use. And what you need to understand is that pretty much like when we are running faster, our heartbeat goes faster. Well, when a plant senses that there is an increased water deficit that starts to be um, detected at the root level, it modifies immediately its water consumption. So what we monitor is the fluctuations in how much water gets absorbed, used, consumed by, by the plant. And by looking at those tiny variations, we are able to say whether or not the plant is in good health. And as long as we are confident about the maintaining of a good, healthy plant, the conditions do not need to be modified. And what we've observed is that in many, many cases, the plant's inherent resilience to sustain like contrasted conditions, heat spells, um, high wind, gives them a much greater ability that we think to go through very challenging um, situations. The idea initially was to um, develop a new product, a new technology to enable the winemakers to optimize the use uh, of the water to make better grapes. We had to work out a technology that will be able to sustain an agricultural set setting and at the same time be very reliable so that our customers could get access to their data 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In order to measure the flow of water through the vine, we are using this uh, data logger. This data logger is connected to four vines. And it's connected to four vines through these four wires. So if we follow one of these wires, we go to one of our sensors here that is sitting on the vine. This data logger has two functions. The first one is to control the heat that is applied to the vines. And the second one is to register the data coming from the sensors that are installed on the vines. From there, as you can imagine, we are applying a lot of heat to this vine, so we need, we need some energy. So we use a solar panel that is connected to a battery and to the data logger. We use a radio and this antenna that you can see at the top to interrogate the data logger and get the data, send it over to the internet. On the internet, we, we go to a central server where the information is treated, analyzed, and presented on our website so that the customer can access it seven days a week and 24 hours a day. This plant has been selected to measure its level of water consumption. And what I mean by that, I mean the volume of liquid water that is actually flowing inside the plant as, as I speak. So you have to imagine that water is being absorbed at the root level and under a liquid form flows through the trunk, flows inside those stems, and then once the water arrives at the leaf level, it gets vaporized into the atmosphere. You can imagine that the plant is just like a bunch of pipe put together once we can characterize the flux, the flow of water through that pipe, it's easy to understand the level of, of water use. And how do we do that? Well, the key thing to understand is that we are going to apply heat. And why do we apply heat? Because as water moves, it can carry heat with it. So we use those sensors that are supplied with um, electricity and inside those sensors, you see an orange sleeve that is actually a resistance providing heat around the stem. We just need to have some thermocouple. Here you can see them, they are just before and just after the heat is being applied along the path 
of the liquid water and those thermocouples are touching the plant. So as we can measure simultaneously the amount of heat and the temperature difference before and after the heat is applied, we can calculate how much heat got carried away, got transported by the plant and that's how we can compute from a heat measurement, or better said from a temperature difference, how much water flew between those two points. What we notice is that most of the time we come in and we help people saving water while improving quality and not reducing their yield. So everybody, it's a win-win situation for everybody, I think. The customer, the environment. What we try to induce is a deficit in water supply to a plant so that it accelerates its uh, maturation and makes fruits that are going to be maybe smaller in size but more concentrated in color. So the winemaker is happier. The plant is designed to cope pretty well through that kind of strategy, you know, escaping in time. And from an environmental uh, standpoint, it's better because you use only the water you need to make a wine that eventually is going to be of a better quality.